And for this next fight, we got two fighters making their UFC debut with Sam Patterson and Yanal Ashmos. And Sam Patterson is going to be welcoming Yanal Ashmos to England. He earned his contract by way of the Contender Series last September. Got a second round submission win, which put him on a six fight winning streak, gave him this UFC roster spot. Overall, Patterson is 10 1 1. He hasn't lost since the second pro bout in 2017. He's fought good competition too. He has wins over fighters like Felipe Silva, who fought in the UFC, former PFL fighter and Brave CF champion, Ease Del Durin, and the 14 1 Camille, uh, Camille Magomedov. Before coming to the UFC, Patterson was fighting in the Middle East for Brave CF and he actually won the belt for Brave, so this will be his first fight in England in over four years. And for Yanal Ashmos, he's joining Nathan Levy in the UFC as the only other Israeli-born fighter to compete. And he's 6-0, and he's undefeated. Currently, he's fighting out of the K-Dojo Warrior Tribe in New Jersey. After having his first three pro bouts in Israel, he came to the United States and settled there in uh, New Jersey. And K-Dojo Warrior, Warrior Tribe is a really interesting gym because you look at his who trains there, and you'd think it'd be in a, a gym in Russia. Almost all their top athletes are Russian fighters who have migrated to the United States. And he's had three fights since coming to the States, two were for CFFC and Ring of Combat, which are two of the premier and recognizable Northeast promotions. His last fight was for the PFL Challenger Series in Florida. And that win, along with his style, um, gave the UFC... A reason to call him and give him this chance for Saturday. And for Yanal Ashmos, style-wise, he's a beast. I mean, he's not the most technical fighter, but he's extremely powerful. He's explosive, comes well-conditioned. On the feet, on the outside, he throws some really fast kicks. He has nice kicks to all parts of the body. As far as the hands go, he really just throws a lot of hooks, uppercuts, overhands. When fighters pressure, he will move side to side, look to fake the level changes, then come with big overhands and hooks. And... He'll try to rip the body too. And um, his boxing is not that good though. When you can get him in the pocket, you can really pick him apart. He will just try to land wing shots. And he does have nice kicks on the outside though. He'll, like I said, throw real fast kicks. And um, that's going to be something that he could use in this fight. And I think that his ability to close the gap and catch Patterson is going to be something that he has to used to his advantage here because Patterson's a little bit stiff and awkward backing out of rain sometimes and Ashmos has that killer instinct when he hurts you he swarms and can finish you and his wrestling is a little bit questionable but he's a good grappler he's hard to hold down when he gets taken down he can reverse position and get on top and when he gets on top he has really good ground and pound and his last fight he was hitting some body lock takedowns and seems like he's getting a little bit better with his clinch game and his offensive wrestling against the cage and he definitely has good cardio he could push the pace his opponent sam patterson is a massive lightweight he's 6 3 78 inch reach i think he has the longest reach in the division and he doesn't really use his reach that well but he's improving with that he's getting better with using his jabs his front kicks he'll throw the left hook out there inside he'll throw some sloppy hooks and the issue with patterson striking to me is the fact that he just doesn't do the best job of countering and he doesn't do the best job of retreating out of range. He can get hit as he backs up. And he doesn't really have the ability to counter with his hands to make fighters pay to pressure him. And his length and toughness when he can go forward do make him dangerous though. Because he can use those front kicks, keep you at bay, and just kind of pick you apart. And he has great composure and volume. So he can absorb shots and keep coming and kind of break you down. And if he fights smart, uses his kicks as long punches... He can beat up Ashmos. He just has to stay away from those bombs. And Patterson, his takedown defense is questionable, but he has good front chokes and he has a decent clinch game. Um, I think he's going to have to figure out how to get Ashmos off of him, though, and back off the fence and off the floor and try to make his striking battle to have the best chance to win. I, I see Ashmos trying to pressure Patterson, get him to the fence, and mix in some takedowns, get on top. And if he can take Patterson down, I think Patterson's going to be in some trouble. Patterson has also had some trouble starting fights slow. He's gotten dropped in the first round. He got dropped in the first round of his last fight. He got knocked out in the first round of his loss. So I do believe Ashmus has a chance to knock him out. I think the line is off. Both fighters are green. I think Patterson's length and technical striking combinations with his pressure and pace could give Ashmus issues, but I also think issues issues from Ashmus that he could pose to Patterson could be 
his ability to catch him as he moves backwards and potentially hold him against the cage and take him down. But I'm going to end the fight towards Sam Patterson. I'm going to say he gets out of those early stages, finds his range, shuts down the wrestling, gets the better of the clinch exchanges and pick, picks at Asmos and route to a decision victory. Um, so it's one of these fights I would totally stay away from, though. I feel like if you were to bet on it, it's definitely a dog or pass. But I'm going to go Sam Patterson by decision is my official pick.